PK52, the Saturday morning meeting. Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I hope 2022 is a phenomenal year. So we've gone through a couple of years of COVID-19. We've got the chip shortage out there. Customer demand has been high. The supply has been low. Let's not forget that we will move into a different chapter in all of sales and all of supply as years go forward. We'll be manufacturing more items stateside. The chip situation, there's opening a big plant. Samsung's opening a plant just outside of Austin, Texas. I mean, these things will be resolved over time. And it kind of comes back to me. So I've had some things that happened over the last couple of years and I've decided not to go and elaborate on what's happened, but it comes back to customer satisfaction. Do what you promised, go further than expectation, make sure that, that you're not asking for any kind of survey response, but the survey response comes naturally because of the gift of being able to do business and associate with you. That you're the commodity, not the vehicle. We are in a very bad situation in the car business right now, where if I have a car and you want the car, then it is a demand world, not a supply world, and I really hold all the cards, which means I don't have to be personable. I don't have to be the best I can be. I'm not competing against 15 or 16 other vehicles in a market. I'm not competing against other very talented salespeople. I've got the only car. And to be honest with you, if they want it bad enough, I could treat them as poorly as I want. I could be irresponsible for the way I follow up. I can be irresponsible for the way that I do my business and still make a living. And that will not last. It will not perpetuate. So going into the new year, Let's go into the new year as not a year of consumption, but a year of people. How many people have stepped up over the last year? We've had tornadoes, we've had, we've had hunger, we've had homelessness, um, we, moved, we ended a war and moved refugees, we've got people coming across the border. I mean, there are people out there with giant hearts that are doing everything they can to provide for people who we're told can't provide for themselves. You know, there, there's a lot of parables in, in a lot of religions and a lot of parables of a lot of very, very influential people through the history of the world who basically said, you can give something to somebody and they'll come back to it for you to give to them again because they become, um, their need is you. You supply the need. Or you can teach somebody how to perpetuate their life, how to grow their life, and how to become a person that can self-sustain. And that's the way we need to go. Instead of continuing to hand out, hand out some knowledge. Find somebody in your life in 2022 that you can actually help and tutor and, and, and move them into a better place so they can self-survive. That's something that's very rewarding, and many of you have done that, and it's amazing. So I want to close this year out and say, this has been a very interesting time. There are a lot of people who are extremely young that haven't experienced the multiple decades of change in everything that we experience year after year. A pandemic, a shortage of product, um, inflation, deflation, destabilized uh, stabilization of the world powers, destabilization of currency. It's always going to be something. But remember, in the worst times on earth, there have been a group of people who have figured out how to flourish and provide opportunity for multitudes during the worst times out there. So very happy new year. This is my once a year rant. I've already planned for my 2022 vacation. I'm a big proponent on working hard, doing everything that people ask for you to do, for me or you to do, and then doing a little extra so that they're going like, maybe make them feel uncomfortable that you went further than they ask. I like that. I like being able to look at somebody and said, you asked for this and you get this and this and this along with that. No problem. It's a very uncomfortable situation for other people when they realize that you went further than they ever ask you to do. I think that's something that everybody should strive for. You know, my grandfather told me when I was young, he said, you've got your first big job. They want you to come to work. So that's a big job. 
When they ask you to do something, do it at 125%. Never give them a reason to let you go because of lack of performance. And I think that's a great advice. So I ask every year, please set a vacation up. This is the most amazing country in the world. I mean, I know people want to travel to Europe and, and you know, go to, my wife got a chance to go to South Africa, maybe South America. I mean, there's some great places in the world, but there's no greater place than America. What haven't you seen? What haven't you shared with your family? Do you have friends around the nation who have moved away? Can you pick the phone up and go, hey, sometime in June, sometime in August, let's all get together. Let's rent a giant house. Let's bring a bunch of people in and let's spend four or five days just rekindling our relationship and our friendship and just have a blast. You know, go paddle boarding for the first time. Go water skiing for the first time. Do something for yourself. Give back. I know everybody has New Year's resolutions. I want to I want to lose weight. I want to look better. <laughs> I want to get in shape. Whatever. And those things perpetuate into people's time frame gets away. If you block a time, if you spend the money up front, if you connect with people that you really have loved in your past that you miss and you rally to a central location somewhere in the United States. It is a very, very amazing few days. You come back replenished, you come back refreshed, and you come back talking about what are we gonna do next year. The biggest failures on vacation is you don't pre-plan. Right now, it's the beginning of the year. So plan something six, seven, eight, nine months in advance. Get everybody to agree. Get the money in house because if you hadn't paid any money at the last minute, well, we can't come. You know, if they don't come, money stays in the pot. So people need to, a break. They need to commit to doing something for themselves. So my challenge to you in 2022 is take care of yourself. If you take care of yourself, if you're good with you, then it's easier for you to be good with others. PK52, the Saturday morning meeting.